When the Outworlders first arrived on Earth, they asked us why we hid from the humans. Why with our superior strength, speed, and durability, we did not conquer this planet and eradicate or enslave the humans. Why we hid in the shadows rather than taking over by force. The reason was simple. Human fear is terrifying. It wasn't always like this, after all. Once upon a time, our forefathers roamed the land as freely as the humans now do. Vampires would drain entire villages, werewolves would rampage across the country, and the Fae would trick and trap any not careful enough. But we made a crucial mistake. We made them afraid. We thought their empires would fall, giving in to fear, that they would turn on each other to save their own skin. And for a moment, we were almost right. But then the unthinkable happened. They began unifying. We had given them a reason to put aside their petty arguments and unite under one banner against us. The humans feared us, deemed us too dangerous to coexist with, and so they set themselves on exterminating us. Their fear of us became their fuel. We had poked a wasp's nest, and we were going to face the consequences. The tables turned. The human armies marched upon our territories, unrelenting and unstoppable. Their fear had convinced them that this was their only choice, that it was us or them. The forests of the Fae were turned into lumber grounds. The werewolves fell one after another to their silver weapons. The vampires were captured and forced to face the sun. Non-human populations were cut in half over and over. And that's just on our side of the planet. Dragons, Kitsune, Gorgons, Poltergeists, and demons of all shapes and sizes also found themselves drastically reduced in number because the humans feared them. In mere months our kind had gone from near overpopulation to near extinct. The Fae had lost their home, the vampires found themselves forced into hiding, and we werewolves were reduced to about 5% of our previous numbers. The demons, dragons, and poltergeists went extinct. But the humans were still afraid, so their one-sided genocide against us continued until eventually, in order to survive, we vanished. We had to abandon our old ways and hide among the humans, careful to never again show our existence to them. Over time, we became their myths. We became the monsters in their bedtime stories, where they told of how fearsome we were and how they would defeat us every single time. It was terrifying, and what we found most terrifying of all was their worst, most frightening stories were of themselves. Stories of the atrocities humans would inflict on each other, and yet they say we are monsters. So to the Outworlders we give this advice. Take the lesson we, monsters, learned the hard way. Whatever you do, do not give them a reason to fear you, or if they do, you might end up sharing our fate. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. All the things I used in the video are in the description below. If you have a story you'd like to see narrated, please let me know and I'll see if I can contact the author and we can make that happen. Thanks again, and remember to look up and seek the stars.